breaking news. There are new costume characters this January 2023, and we've got to talk about it. It's Distory Dan, and this is New Costumes. We already said that. Ew, all right, let's go, Kenny, into the video. <laughs> breaking news. Typically, I do these videos at the end of the year where I recap all the new characters, but you deserve up to date on top of the, on top of the, on top of the news. Some, some slightly, perhaps two to three weeks after it happens, Disney Cruise Line shocked us with a brand new debut of six costume characters for this brand new Pixar Day at Sea. We had Mr. Incredible, Frozone, Elastigirl, Edna, a Jack-Jack puppet, and an iconic brand new look for the one and only Rex. Here's where it gets bananas though. Just a couple weeks ago, they released a preview video featuring the original full body mascot costumes of Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl. So nobody saw this coming. Why a face character? What a great question. Man, I'm always on the fence about face characters. You really need to have the right character to have the right face character decision behind it. Some of these face characters, they work. Some of them, they don't. Here's what Disney Cruise Line is really good at. They wanna add as much interactivity and warmth to the experience as possible. A dance show is one thing, but actually getting your vacation outfit critiqued by Edna Mode is something on a whole new level. But what confuses me is the choice of characters. We could have had some other face characters that would have lent themselves better to the character versus the ones they ultimately chose. Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl have two very specific sounding voices and are two very specific looking characters. They are absolute units of humans. The full body costume characters really capture this look, their curves, the iconic styles, their hairline, everything looks beautiful with these mascots. But when you make them a face character, things kind of go sideways a little bit. Elastigirl, you know, maybe I could work with that. You got that big round wig that's practically a helmet to begin with. You got the big black mask. Just get all the thigh pads they have in the costume department and, you know, throw them on there. And I think you can work with that. But Mr. Incredible, he's just supposed to be this larger than life character. He's he's just this massive human. And like uh, to see him just be this like six foot one guy who, you know, usually plays, you know, I don't know, Gaston in the medley show. It just doesn't vibe with me. Also, not to mention, Mr. Incredible is well-worn. He's like, he's like the tires you're about to replace on your car, you know what I mean? He's an old, tired man. And this guy just got out of college, you know? He whistles every morning, you know, bluebirds follow him around. He's got the skin of an infant. Like there's just, I'm just not feeling it. This guy should be miserable and just barely being there. Like, you know, you're lucky you have me. That's the real dad energy I'm looking for. But Edna Mode, Edna Mode is a genius choice. The ability to interact with her is just such a great decision. Grab an already small performer, we got those in bulk at Disney, and bingo, just give her a wig, throw some glasses on her, and let her sass her way through an evening with crazy guests. Frozone is also great. What a great decision. You got that really cool guy, aggressive Sam Jackson energy in a really cool, big, iconic mask. You just got like, it's a lot of chin acting and this guy does it great. I love this Frozone, he's super cool. This Frozone, it's all Papa could ask for. The Magic Candle Company brings the vacation to you. Head on over to magiccandlecompany.com and use coupon code DisneyDan15 to take 15% off all of your favorite theme park smells. From your rides, to your resorts, to some of your favorite foods, every one of those theme park smells is there. Magiccandlecompany.com, coupon code DisneyDan15. So you're hearing me critique the choices of face characters Disney went with for this Pixar at Sea. Here are the face characters I actually want. And not only that, here are some character choices that I think really lend themselves to using a face character over a traditional mascot. If we're gonna innovate, here's where I think we should do it. Like, I would love a face character Russell to hang out with the giant Doug fur costume. I think that'd be so much fun to have. And then let's not even mention some of the already existing Pixar characters Disney has in their stock that are already face characters. You have Alfredo Linguini. Imagine him roaming around the buffet. That'd be so much fun to talk to him and have him interact with you about what you're eating. Ah, I would love that. It's all Papa could ask for. And we already have 
full face character costumes for Woody, Buzz, Bo Peep. Uh, Disney Cruise Line put out a full Pixar Toy Story musical. So there you have costumes in storage. Just crack those puppies out. And over at Oogie Boogie Bash, we have a human Sid. That's a really fun character that's already been fully workshopped and established and has a lot of fun interactions with guests. And then finally, and, and most importantly, Ernesto de la Cruz from Oogie Boogie Bash. Disney Cruise Line already gets some of the unique Halloween costumes on their ship. Imagine having Ernesto as the main stage for the night of Pixar at sea. So you can kind of roam in and out, hang out with him. He talks to you, he plays a little bit of his music all night. It would be perfect. It would just be perfect. Kenny would like a Gusto, like the big chubby chef from Ratatouille. He would like the ghost of Gusto. You just paint him like, you know, pale and you give him like an, a, an ethereal flowy chef gown and just put him in one of those Roombas that like the fairies are on all the time. Oh, I saw him at Ayapa. Kenny, show him the behind the scenes. Just stick him in one of these. Spooky Gusto. Dinner with Spooky Gusto. Masterpiece. It's all Papa could ask for. Moving on to Jack Jack. Everyone loves Jack Jack from Pixar's The Incredibles. Now, there's this show that they do uh, up on the pool deck, and there is this insanely low budget, practically rendered by a Pixar intern on their last day, sort of like janky vibe. The Jack Jacks in this video are moving at such a low frame rate and so slowly through the animation. It's just, it's almost embarrassing that they, that they showed this. It's like a, it's like a video game from the nineties. It's so weird, but we get a puppet. We get a puppet Jack Jack and this puppet Jack Jack pops out of the same place that pirate Jack jumps from. So this is like a, this is like a jack hole. What other Jack characters can we throw out of this thing? Jack Skellington. Ooh, Jack Skellington. Like that energy a lot. Last but not least, and I saved him for last because he's the best. We got Rex from Toy Story in the big Pixar play show that they do up on the deck with all the dancing characters. Now what's weird is he like peeps his head out for like just a second. Like this thing barely wiggles its way out. And uh, it's got a, it's got two arms. It's got the performer's arms and their body is pressed right up against the front of that costume. Like you are literally seeing them doing this with their arms. And then the back half, boy, there's a, there's a dump trunk on the back of this thing. It's a back heavy costume. And I guess it, it can really only be brought out for just line dancing. Cause if this thing turned around suddenly it would wipe out half the stage. It's got a danger tail, but I love it. And Rex has had some wild costumes, man. Some real wild costumes. So this is a really great addition. And I would love to see it as a possible meet and greet in the parks like Pixar Pier very soon. Uh, uh, please, please Disney, give this to us at Pixar Pier in Disney California Adventure. So there you go. There are some breaking Disney news about some new costume characters from January, 2023. Stay tuned and let me know in the comments when you spot a new character. Hit me up on all the many holy social media channels, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and of course our blog, Please Stop Vlogging and my TikTok. All right, I'm off to find more news. Exposure. Thanks for watching, guys. You rock. But you need an you need an accurate observation and and review of the new costumes, and that's what I'm here for. That's what Dan is. That's what Dan does. He looks at the new costumes and he tells you about them, and then you see them, and you can make your choice if you want to go and see them. So let's talk about them. I have my fingers on the costume pulse of the Disney of the Disney World, the heart of Disney. I hear this costumes and it goes ba bump ba bump. Moving on.